There's something lurking out on the trails. Only question is, can I catch it? What's up guys, welcome back to Can I Catch It, the nature show all about finding a wildlife adventure right at home in your own backyard. Do you have a taste for adventure and like exploring? Subscribe to my channel and come with me as I explore my wild backyard. So here on my wild backyard, we have four acres of woods full of habitat diversity. The only problem is, exploring the woods to get to different habitats can be kind of difficult when you're trekking through poison ivy, thorny vines and briars, and getting your face full of spiderwebs. So, to counteract this little difficulty, we've been building nature trails through the woods. Having nature trails provides easy access to all the different habitats and wildlife my backyard has to offer so I can get them up close to the camera and teach you guys a little bit about them. Now, another perk of having nature trails is it provides a highway that wildlife can sometimes use to cross, travel, or even make their home. Check out these ants that have made their homes in the exposed soil that was once grown over with weeds and vines. However, this isn't an episode about ants. Today's catch was found crossing the trail. See, I was out walking my dog this morning when I happened to notice this guy. Now, of course, turtles are not very hard to catch. They can't move very fast, and it was not very difficult for me to scoop them up. However, finding baby turtles is always exciting and a great opportunity to learn a little bit about the reptile, so I figured I might as well share it with you guys. Now, this turtle here, at first I thought I was looking at a slider because we see a lot of sliders out in the woods near the creek, but this is actually a box turtle. I didn't know it at first, but I did a quick research online and found out this is a box turtle. Now, these guys get a lot bigger than this, but they're by no means the biggest turtle here in North Carolina. What's really awesome about this turtle is I'll probably be able to find it again because they stick to pretty close home ranges, usually of a radius of no more than 200 meters. Now, because of this home range, these turtles run into some trouble. See, these guys are commonly found crossing roads, and people will take them off the road and bring them home with them. Now, unless you plan on keeping these turtles as a pet, you probably shouldn't bring them home with you, because box turtles have a keen homing instinct. You drop them off on your property, they're going to start heading for home, which means they'll probably be crossing more roads and put themselves in harm's way again. So even though you thought you are rescuing them, you're probably giving them a death sentence. Now, if you do see a box turtle crossing the road, do pick it up and move it off the road. Just move it to the other side in the direction the turtle was headed. That way, it's still in its home range, it's out of harm's way, and you're not potentially putting its life in danger. I released this little turtle back into the trail, and it happily clambered back through the vines and weeds that it was heading into. Always an exciting encounter finding a turtle or any kind of reptile on your property, and I'm glad I got to share this with you guys. So, thanks guys for watching, that's all for this episode, but I hope to see you next time. But until then, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.